So, why sometimes do action layer bindings not work? Okay, I'm in uh, Mirror's Edge. Now, this is something that I know I've mentioned this before, but it's probably been buried inside some, another video, so I wanted to just make a quick little video specifically on this. This isn't so much a tutorial, this is more just like getting around, you know, the always slightly buggy beta feeling of Steam configuration. So, I have, let's just go in here, hide that. Sorry, I have, you know, the uh, right pad click. I haven't really bound these in yet. This is just for an example. So you have, you know, right, ba right pad, mode shift click. But this particular thing, it's really going to apply to if you have any mode shift on this right pad. Whether it's directional pad, whatever. So, okay. Just a little bit of context. And then I have action layer that I turned into a touch menu. You can see here, nothing is showing for a mode shift. It's button click, jump, and crouch. So, get that back up. So I hold the bumper and I get these. Jump, I'm clicking, nothing is happening. Clicking the crouch, nothing is happening. Now clearly, I mean, just bear with me, I wouldn't really be doing this, it's just for an example. But still, this should be working, why is this not working? Sorry, I think, let me, just to make it easier, so let's make all of these punch. Okay, so all the edges are punch. See that? It's punching, just so you can see what's happening. It's just, it's such a weird steam thing. So what you need to do is go into your action layer. Go into mode shift. Even though it's clearly showing nothing is bound here. Go into right pad click. Select none. Verify that. You might even need to do that a couple times. It's just like this strange phantom leftover you know, make sure it's showing up as none back out just for the hell of it I'm gonna do it again because I've I've had lots of experience needing to do this okay so now pull this back up my clicks are the punch hold in for the menu now I can jump and I can crouch So yeah, it's just, it, it's like, it's like the phantom of that mode shift gets carried over, even though it's not showing there's anything there. It's really peculiar, but I wanted to make a quick video, and I'm actually glad, like, it happened immediately as soon as I did that. I made an action layer, you know, the default had a mode shift. Made an action layer, action layer showed there was nothing in the mode shift, but as you could see, it wasn't enacting the action layer bindings. So, I mean, hopefully, I should probably submit a bug. Yeah, I should submit a bug report on this, so hopefully this isn't a problem we'll have to do. But in the meantime, this has come up a lot, and I've had to keep mentioning this to people. Like, just what's happening is it's probably carrying over the mode shift, even though it's not showing it. Go in there, clear it out. So in the meantime, <laughs> go into the mode shift... Select your click. Verify that it's none. So now we got edge click for punch, up, down, go into the click, and now that works. Just as an aside, could you imagine trying to <laughs> trying to play this game with a touch menu? That'd be pretty nuts. But no, I like to do something like this just for an example to show what I'm talking about. So there you go. That's how to clean up your action layers if it's not working. It's just a peculiar little 
fussy thing with Steam configuration, but I will document this into a bug report and submit that with a link to this video because that's clear evidence that this is happening. So hopefully we can get this squared away. So, all right, that's all I got. I will see you around.